Hello and welcome to this psychology student webinar looking at linear social psychology tackling the difficult year 13 questions and this is the second part of five videos where we're going to look at some of the sample assessment material questions some of the more tricky ones and how we might answer them. So for this video here's our question it says a small group of environmentally aware sixth form students are campaigning for their school to become paper free for the next six months. Recently they had their meeting with a group of teachers who represent the teaching staff the teachers told the students that the school could become paper free if the group of students could convince the rest of the student body that it was a good idea. Using your knowledge of conformity and minority influence, explain the factors that will determine how successful the small group of students will be for seven marks. Now the first thing straight away is that a seven mark question is particularly odd for AQA and therefore don't panic. Treat this as a six mark question with a little bit extra knowledge required. And if you imagine on average you might be writing 150 words to 200 for a six marker, you might just be going slightly higher than that for a seven. So don't panic is my first bit of advice if you've got an odd, odd number of marks like that in the exam. In terms of this question though, it's what I would call a going beyond the STEM question. Uh, and what that means you've got to do is you've got to consider two key questions before you start to think about how you would structure an answer. The first thing is what do you know about the topic? And in this case the question actually gives you a steer because it says use your knowledge of conformity and minority influence. So we can almost break this question in half. So what do we know about those two topics? And then how can we use that knowledge in order to answer this question? So let's, let me talk you through my thought process here. In terms of what do I know about minority influence, well I know there's three key factors of course, there's consistency, flexibility and commitment. In terms of conformity, what do I know here in terms of how it might affect whether a group will be successful? We could talk about a variety of factors, but the two I might include might be group size and unanimity. If I was just bullet pointing my thoughts at this stage, I might say, well, consistency, this relates to how strong the small group of students' arguments will be about going paper free. And maybe they'll, they'll go down the line that actually it might be money spent elsewhere that's better for everyone. On top of that, I might argue that they need to be flexible. They need to compromise and allow paper to be used sometimes. And someone made a, a good point earlier that we still need paper in the toilets, of course, and therefore that's an example of being flexible, potentially. But you could argue that maybe during revision time, we might need to be more flexible. In terms of conformity factors, you might talk about group size, and that the larger the majority is, the more difficult the task will be, which is then, of course, going to affect how successful the small group will be. And then last but not least, you might talk about unanimity. And that's the idea that support from members of the large group could increase the chances of success. Notice how I keep referring to the word success, and that's because it's referred to in the question. It says, explain the factors that will determine how successful that small group will be. So here's what I might write. I might actually start with a small intro to guide my answer and say, there's three uh, key factors affecting minority influence, consistency, flexibility, commitment. And then there are a variety of factors that affect conformity, uh, including group size and unanimity, to name just two. And then I'm going to break my answer in half and I'm going to do the minority influence part first and keep applying it the whole way through. This is a seven mark application question and then I'll do exactly the same for conformity. So I might say in terms of minority influence, the small group of students are more likely to be successful and convince the student body if they show consistency in their argument and a degree of flexibility. I've got the key term straight in there. And now I'm going to apply it. For example, the small group may consistently refer to the large amount of money spent on photocopying and how this money could be spent elsewhere for the benefit of other students. Okay. Furthermore, the small group may also show a degree of flexibility and suggest that paper can still be used in certain circumstances, for example, the mock exams and student revision, to demonstrate their willingness to compromise. Okay. So I've really done about half the answer at this stage. I now need to do exactly the same for conformity. In terms of conformity, group size is a key factor affecting whether or not people will conform and therefore a small group will find it difficult to persuade the student body as the student body is the majority. So remember the key to this question was how successful the small group will be and here I'm acknowledging actually this point might be difficult for them. However, a second factor that affects conformity is unanimity, which is the extent to which uh, the members of the majority agree with one another. And if the members of the larger student body, if there are members of the larger student body who agree with the small group, then this will increase the chances that the small group will be successful and persuade others to conform to their paper-free views. Notice how the word successful has crept into both paragraphs to make sure I'm signposting my knowledge back to the question, or in this case my application back to the question, and that would be enough to get you the seven marks on this particular question and get you into that top mark band region. Okay, So it doesn't need to be a hugely lengthy answer, but what it does need to be is thought out and applied back to the question because this is a seven mark applied question. 
Uh, for those of you that have signed up to the Tutor You webinars, you'll have a copy of this model answer or worked answer in your My Tutor You account. So I really hope you found this short video useful. And thank you once again for watching. Bye for now.